look at this studio. Full of fabulous prizes just waiting to be won on Wheel of Fortune. And now, here's the host of our show, Chuck Wolverine. Hello folks and welcome to Wheel of Fortune and now let us see our hostess for the show, Suzanne Stafford. Yes, let's say hello to her. Hello. Ah, hello, uh, Suzanne. Hello, how are you doing Chuck? I'm doing fine. What about you? Oh, I'm doing fine too, yes. Uh, so you ready to play our first ever game of this Wheel of Fortune? Oh yes, yes, first episode. Yeah, that's right. Now folks, uh, as you may uh, check on the wheel near the bankrupt space, there's uh, $500 paste to the wheel, and also uh, somewhere around the front. No, no. Yeah, that's it. Only there is $500 space. Oh, no, wait. There's here too, near the free spin. Okay, that's right. $500 space. And uh, those are the top values, uh, dollar value for this round. And um, we're going to have three rounds, and after that, we'll see who has the most uh, dollar amount. But first, let's see the puzzle, and I'll explain more on our way uh, through the game. Okay, and it's a title. Now, the object is basically to guess consonants, if you spin the wheel, and the dollar amount, like, uh, let's say, uh, one, t uh, like if we land here in 500 R space. If you get a letter, like uh, one letter, that's 500. Two letters, 1,000. Three, it's uh, 1,500, and so on. However, uh, after that, you could guess a vowel if you like, but you take away 250 from your score. Whoever has uh, solved the puzzle, they get to win it and buy some prizes on our stage. And also, uh, if you buy the prizes, you keep them already. Alright? And uh, free spin here, if you land on it every time, uh, you get one free spin, alright? And you get to keep it. And if you get a wrong letter, well, you get to uh, use it, alright? And so, let's go with uh, Bob Joel and see what he spins on his round. <laughs> And he lands on $400. Okay, now, pick a letter. Now, try a T. Uh, yes, there are three T's. Okay, now let's have Vanna turn the letters, yes. Let's have the next one up here. Alright. And now, would you like to buy a vowel, or would you like to spin? Oh, I'll spin the wheel. Alright, let's see what he gets on his next spin. And he lands on $100. Alright, now, which letter would you like? I'll try an H. Uh, yes, there's uh, a few H's up there. Alright, now let's have Vanna turn the letters again. Once again, uh, I mean, not Vanna. <laughs> yes, uh, Chuck. First of all, my name is Suzanne. And I don't want you to see this girl anymore, whoever this man is. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay, and uh, let's just uh, do your business. Turn the letters, starting with the uh, top or bottom, whichever one. Hey, don't tell me what to do with my job. All right. Uh, oops. Okay, and now the top. Okay, now back to your spot. And so, uh, uh, Bob Joel, uh, now you have... Uh, Fourteen hundred dollars. Would you like to buy a vowel or spin again? Do I buy a vowel? Okay, what's the vowel? An E? Yeah, there's a few E's and let's see them. Alright, now let's have Suzanne. Yes, finally, thank you. Yes. So let's have Suzanne turn the letters. Ah, okay. So let's begin. Okay, now let's try the next one. Okay, now let's try the next one. Okay, now let's try the next letter down here. And now let's have the one from the bottom. Okay, and now I believe that's it for the E's. So, uh, Bob Joel, you have $1,150. Now, would you like to spin, solve, or buy a vowel? Uh, I'll spin the wheel. Alright, let's see what you'll get on the spin. Okay, and you got $400. So pick a letter. I'll take an R. Yes, there are a few R's, and let's see them. 
Alright, now let's have uh, Suzanne turn the puzzle, uh, staying with her side. Let's uh, turn the letters. Alright, now let's go for the next one. Okay. So, Bob Joe, you have $1950. Would you like to buy a vowel or spin the wheel? Ah, uh, spin the wheel. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Alright, let's see what you'll get. And you got 350. So pick a letter, uh, Bob. Uh, take uh, an S. Yes, there's a few S's. <laughs> Alright, now, Suzanne, once again, turn the letters. Your job. Yes, yes, I know. Sorry. Okay. And now let's uh, turn the next letter. Okay. And now, uh, let's see, uh, Bob, uh, Dole, Bob, uh, Joel, you got 2,650. Now, would you like to buy a vowel, uh, solve, or, uh, maybe spin the wheel? Uh, I think I'll buy a vowel. Alright, what letter will that be? Uh, pick an A. And, no, there is no A. So, uh, if we go to Pikey Shrick. Alright, now, spin the wheel, or solve the puzzle, and get a minimum value of uh, five hundred dollars as your win. Yeah, I think I'll spin the wheel. Alright, let's go. And you got two hundred dollars. So pick a letter. Uh, I'll try an... an M? No, there is no M. Now Shaggy, let's go. Alright. And you land on... Oh, lose a turn. Uh, sorry for that. So, we're back to uh, Bob Joel, uh, everybody. And now uh, spin the wheel, Bob, as you all, as you know by now. Or, you could buy a vowel, or maybe even solve the puzzle. And, uh, so what would you like to do, uh, Bob? Uh, yeah, what the heck, I'll try another vowel. Alright, what letter will that be? I'll take an I. Why, well, yes, there is one I. Alright, now Suzanne, turn the letter, please. Yes, okay. Okay. Now, uh, there goes Suzanne once again. And now, uh, and now let us, uh, solve, spin, or buy another vowel. Well, I think, uh, time's up, so I think I'll solve the puzzle. Alright, what do you think it is? I think it's the Three Musketeers. That is correct! <laughs> Folks, now he has one thousand uh, two thousand one fifty. Now, uh, Bob Joel, would you like to buy an item that is on our stage? And Johnny, tell him what the items are for uh, this round. First, we got first off, we got this lovely flag from the seventeen hundreds uh, Japanese uh, era, worth two hundred dollars. Next, we got this uh, armoire which is Egyptian style looking, as you may see. It's worth $1,500. Next up, we got this safe, which is made of the finest plastic and steel from uh, Legoland Corporation, and that totals up uh, to uh, $500. Yeah. Next, we got this huge uh, barrel. You could hold uh, 16 gallons of anything, and that's worth $300. Next, we got these two ancient maps. Well, not really ancient, but uh, close to ancient. Replicas. So, they're worth $150. Next, we got this fire hydrant, which is worth $600. In the back, we have the ceramic wall of Egypt, worth $1,000. Next, we got this treasure chest. But your clothes, memories, and pictures, and anything you like it, worth $750. We have this picture thing standing up on the floor, and that's worth uh, $300. And finally, we got lots of emeralds and jewelry, worth $2,500. Alright, so Bob, make your picks. 
Well, take that uh, coffin looking thing. Alright, so it's $1,500. Let's so do it from your store. Alright, now you got $650 left. Which, uh, what do you want uh, next? Take that fire hydrant for six hundred dollars. All right, let's uh, deduct that from your score. And we have fifty dollars left, so we'll put that on your account. And so uh, we'll continue after these messages, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, folks. Welcome back to the Wheel of Fortune. And now uh, we. Uh, we have to start round two, and let's see what the puzzle is for round two, ladies and gentlemen. And the puzzle is TV show. And so we begin this game with, um, Heike Shrek. And also, we added a new, uh, top value space, which is $1,000 right on the camera side, right there. $1,000, that brown area there, right here. And, uh, another bankrupt space, which is on the red side here, and on the blue side, okay. So, let's begin the game. And you land on $350. So, Pikey, pick a letter. I'll try an R. Yes, there are two R's. Alright, now, Suzanne, please turn the letters. Why, sure thing, Chuck. Alright. Okay, and let's have the other one right here. Okay. Becky, would you like to buy valve or would you like to spin? Well, I think I'll spin the wheel. Alright, spin the wheel. And you land on $500. I'll try a T. Yes, there are uh, three T's. Alright, now Suzanne, please turn the letters. Yes, right. Okay, I'll go for the next one. Okay, and the last one, I'll in the corner. Okay, and so, Pikey, would you like to buy a vowel, spin, or solve? I'll, I'll spin again. Alright, let's go. And you land on $400. So, pick a letter. I'll try an S. Oh uh, no, there are no S's. All right, now it's down to Shaggy. Spin the wheel. And you land on 350. And so Shaggy, pick letter. I'll try an L. No, there is no L. Okay, now we go to uh, Bob Joel. And you land on 350. So pick a letter. Uh, I'll try an N. Yes, there are a few N's. Alright, now Suzanne, turn the letters. Here we go. Okay, and now the top. Okay, and now the next. Okay, and finally, right over here. Okay, and now you have 1400. Would you like to buy a vowel or would you like to spin? I think I'll buy a vowel. Okay, so what is the vowel? I'd like an E. Yes, we got four E's. Alright, now Suzanne, turn the letters, please. Yes. Okay, and now let's go for the next. Okay, let's go for the next. Okay, and finally the last one. Okay. Folks at home, uh, we just uh, found out an error we've made on the puzzle. Uh, we forgot another T, uh, as you can see on the board, which is near the R on the second word. Alright, on its right. Yeah, we forgot to add that. And so, uh, the person who uh, guessed for the T was uh, Peccary, uh, over there in the middle. So we gave him our $500, because that was the dollar amount he had. He spun, so... Just so uh, we don't uh, make a mistake again, we'll have to be careful next time. <laughs> Alright, now uh, back to the game we were at. Bob, would you like to buy another vowel? Uh, solve, or maybe spin the wheel? I think I'll spin the wheel this time again. Alright, let's go. And we land at ooh, $500. Very close. So, pick a letter, uh, Bob. Well, I think it's 750, but uh, why is it 500? Well, if it's like exactly on the 
the black area on the line, we move it to the right, and that would be the 500, alright? Alright, I guess that will happen, yeah. Anyway, pick a letter. Oh, um, an M. Yes, we got one M. Yes. And so, uh, Suzanne, please turn the letter. Why, sure, whoop, sure thing. Okay, you got 16.50. What would you like to do now? Ooh, I think I'll buy a vowel. Alright, what vowel will that be? Well, I'd like an A. Uh, yeah, we got two A's. Alright, now, Suzanne, as you know already, yes. Yes. Okay, and now the top. Okay, and now, Bob, you have 1400. What would you like to do with that? Oh, I'll spin the wheel. Alright, let's spin it. And we land on $300. So, pick a letter. Ooh, I'll try an R. Uh, the, oh no, I'm sorry, there is already an R. Oh, really? Oh, damn, no, 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 no. Ah, sorry, but you lose your turn. Uh, you already guessed. And now, uh, oh, whoa. Uh, Pickery. Uh, yes. Pikey, excuse me. Yes, my name is Pikey. Oh, well, you're lucky. You got 2700, and he uh, made a mistake in saying uh, an R. Would you like to spin, solve, or buy a vowel? Oh, I'll spin the wheel. All right, let's hope you don't get a bankrupt or lose a turn. Oh, $500! And so, what would you like to take? I'll try a P. Yes, there is one P! All right, now, Suzanne, do your job. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. Okay. And that means there's only vowels left, so, uh... Pikey, please solve the puzzle or buy a vowel. I'll solve the puzzle. All right, go ahead. Operation Entertainment. That's right. We got it. Okay. So, Pikey, you got $3,200. Now let's go to the stage over here. We got some new items on our stage. Uh, right, uh, right, Johnny? That, that's right. To Chuck, and here's one of them. All right, let's hear. We got... 200 days of glass repair, which is worth $2,000, alright? And a year's supply of gas, which is total to about $3,000. So, uh, which one would you like to take? Or a few things to take? Well, that year's supply of gas sounds good, so I'll take that. Alright, let's take away $3,000 from your uh, score. Okay, and now, uh, pick another thing, if you like. Is there anything for 200 dollars? Oh yeah, yeah, there's something for 200, uh, I believe the flag? Yeah, that's right. Ah, uh, yes, that's the flag, okay. So, you, would you like to take the flag? Uh, sure, why not. Alright, let's take off the rest of the, take off the rest of money from the rest of the Okay, and so, uh, folks, you know, uh, stay tuned, we're gonna be coming back for round 3 of Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Welcome back to Wheel of Fortune, and now, as you may see on my side, there's $1,500 space on the wheel, that green area here, and also, uh, two bank spaces, there's one here, and one on the other side, right there, and we begin the game with, uh, Shaggy, but first, the category for our puzzle is, A Place. So, Shaggy, let's begin this game. And we land at $300. So Shaggy, pick a letter. I'll try an S. Yes, there's a few S's up there. Alright, now turn the letters. Uh, Miss Suzanne. Yes. Okay, and now uh, for the top, let's go. Okay, you now have $600. Alright. And now would you like to spin, buy vowel, or solve the puzzle? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna spin the wheel. Alright, let's go. And we land at 250. And so pick a letter. I'll try a T. Yeah, there's a few T's, alright, let's show him. Alright, Suzanne, let's go. Okay, and final uh, letter right up there. 
Okay, and so you have eleven hundred dollars. Oh, oh, folks, it looks like we're almost out of time. So this we uh this pin will uh, determine how much uh, each consonant is worth. Vowels worth nothing, right? And we'll use uh, the blue side. Let me spin. Ah, there we go. And it consonants are worth three hundred dollars. All right, so we go back uh, to uh, Shaggy. Pick a letter. Uh. Um, L. Yeah, there's one L, and let's show him. Okay, Suzanne, turn the letter. Okay. And so Shaggy, you got 1400, do you know the puzzle? Five seconds. I don't know. Okay, and now we move on to uh, Bob. Pick a letter. Eh, uh, I'll try an E. Alright, no uh, cash value for the E, but let's show him anyway. Okay, and uh, let's turn the letters. Okay, and let's turn the next one. Okay. And so, do you know what it is, uh, Bob? Five seconds. I don't know. Okay. Now, uh, Pikey. Uh, um, an N? Yeah, there's one N. Let's show him. Okay, and Suzanne, do your job. Okay, and now back to your spot. And so salt the puzzle. Five seconds. Okay, and now we go to Shaggy. Uh, pick a letter. Uh, uh, C. Yeah, there are two C's, and let's show them. Okay, there's one. And there's two. So, Suzanne, let's go. Okay, and the top. Okay, and going to this part. And so, uh, can you solve the puzzle? Yeah, five seconds. Uh, uh, CVS Television City. That's right, you got it! Oh, congratulations! You won $2,000, Shaggy. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, and now let's go to the shopping floor. And see the new items we got on the show. And let's begin. Uh, uh, oh yes, on our uh, on the left stage. Yes. Why well, sure. All right. We have a year supply of Tic Tac worth three hundred fifty dollars. And a knapsack with cards in it, and it's worth four hundred fifty dollars. All right. So pick your stuff. Uh, is there something for $2,000? Yes, and it's the glass of Paris for two, uh, 200 times. Alright, I'll take that. Okay, you'll take that. And, ladies and gentlemen, the person who's going on our next show tomorrow will be Pikey Schick. Yes, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yes. And, folks, we hope uh, you could join us on the next Wheel of Fortune tomorrow. Same time at uh, 9.30 uh, a.m. in the morning, okay? Goodbye, everybody!